your right hands and repeat after me nice and loud. I state your name. Oh, got an applause there. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Thing. Sorry, it feels so good. Look at that. Good <laughs> angle. Want that? Yeah. Breakfast, Sean got up a little bit early and made us some bacon and eggs and some tater tots. This is day three. We just had our breakfast that I talked about there. And uh, we're just gonna take a quick little wander around the property here because I haven't really shown it to anybody yet, but this is our cabin that we're staying in. Just outside of the town of Leed. It's like a ski resort area. Beautiful views. Every morning, Russ has woken up and he's seen a deer hanging out right here. Today, we're heading east, away from the hills, past Sturgis, BMW. world famous for their motorcycle rally. Hey, buddy. Our first stop today is located just outside the main gate of Ellsworth Air Force Base in Box Elder, South Dakota. All right, so we've just driven for about an hour away from where we're staying and we're at our first stop for day three and it's the South Dakota Air and Space Museum and uh, there's some incredibly large aircraft just sitting out in the front so this uh, this could be really cool <laughs> and right over top turn the edge of the arm okay. I, I vividly remember that it's heavy because London had a really good aircraft just checking out the art mark Jason needs to tell us a lovely story about he was a kid and went to the London Air Show and he saw one flying and they did some fun stuff with that. But uh, let's go check out this beast. My gosh, look at the size of this thing. The B-29 Super Fortress is a propeller-driven heavy bomber used during World War II and the Korean War. And from the Cold War era, the EC-135. I came with my family on a day that was just too hot. I gave my dad a hard time for drinks out of beer. And it's spectacular. It's beautiful. Sorry, Dad. There's a building here uh, that me and my brother and sister and mom took refuge in the shade because it was just so hot. And I'm just looking for that building so I can sit down and recreate it. While Colin was on his journey, I went to look at a few more displays. There were aircraft of all types, from all eras. It says nuclear missiles are used every day for deterrence. A single Miniman II could arrive within a half mile of its target and deliver a warhead 66 times more powerful than the atomic bomb that struck Hiroshima. That is insane. The B-25 Mitchell, it was used after the attack on Pearl Harbor. It was used by Doolittle to fly off of an aircraft carrier and actually bomb Tokyo. Unfortunately, the interior displays were not open. So we checked out the rest of the impressive aircraft and saddled up to go a little further down the road. Our next stop was not far away in the town of Wall. Wall Drug is a roadside tourist attraction. It is comprised of a collection of shops with a Midwestern motif. So we've arrived at Wall Drug. If you're a spiritual person, there's a small chapel that you can make use of. A lovely little chapel. And throughout, there were various collections of art and displays to investigate. This place is huge, lots of cool stuff. 
Amongst the stores, there are gift shops, a drugstore, various restaurants, and even an art gallery. We all wandered around looking at interesting treasures and gifts. Basically, if you need a knickknack, this place has got it. <laughs> area had its own specialty, so I went to the Western wear next. All right, I'm going to try some boots on just for fun. <laughs> While I was trying stuff on, the boys were comparing prices to the game we play. Just on our way to the Badlands now. Back on the road, we headed to our last and largest attraction for the day. All right, so here, it's our first stop at the Badlands. This looks pretty, pretty huge and magnificent. After entering the park, we hit the first stop and walked towards the edge. This nice layer of like orange right near the top. This only being the first stop, we headed back to the car. Just at our second stop here in the Badlands, in our little loop that we're doing, and there's a, a shelter and there's all kinds of birds that have made these lovely little nests out of mud at the top here. You'll see them fly out on occasion. See if I can get up in here. Some spots are okay to walk around. Some spots are a little harder. It's definitely all loose, so just trying to be careful. Toasty warm. Boys, we've all scattered now, of course. But uh, I just took some lovely shots over this ridge over here where you can see, I think you can see Jason in the background there. We're gonna still have a second stop, number two. Uh, as we get closer, it just gets more incredible. So uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty awesome afternoon. And I think if we keep going at this pace, we're gonna see the sunset here. <laughs> If that's allowed, I don't know if that's allowed. Driving along, everywhere you looked was gorgeous scenery. We stopped at several spots, each with their own amazing views. For a brief pit stop, we checked out the visitor center. Inside, they had various items and literature about the area for sale. There was also a small museum with information about the Badlands, the people, animals, and fossils found in the area. We drove further and further into the area, which seemed to go on and on. 
we are taking the scenic route, known as the Badlands Loop, consisting of about 31 miles of amazing scenery. lots all along the route to park, and we continue to make stops where we thought the view would be extra special. The day was going by and we decided to make one last stop to reflect before heading back to lead. And yet another stop of amazing beautiful views. And by beautiful views I mean I'm staring at Rusty's behind. Well it's been a bit crazy trying to get back into the swing of things and doing this video thing. But uh, taking this trip with my buddies, getting to see all these things that we've talked about for years while we play this video game. And, uh, today is pretty spectacular. Just spoke with my wife and told her how much I miss her and uh, that I'm looking forward to the rest of the travels this year. I got Tron desperately, probably wanting to go back to the cabin. <laughs> you hear Sean chanting in the background. Uh, the boys, I just uh, said that I had called my wife, so they all got on the FaceTime and called their respective kids and got to chat with them, so that's kind of fun. I didn't die, but I'm in quite an awful lot of pain. <laughs> <laughs> a quick group chat as time was rolling along, and we decided to enjoy the rest of the views from the car. That is, until we saw this guy. And his family. And just in the final few minutes in the park, we finally saw some buffalo. So I got out and took a few shots. Now, just the long ride home as the sun sets for the day. The next morning, we had a slow start but eventually got in the Wagoneer and set off towards Deadwood to see a few things we had missed earlier in the week. We're back at Deadwood today. It was pouring rain this morning. Let's see what's going on, maybe buy some souvenirs. A decaf espresso. Looking really good. Thank you. After picking up our delicious coffees, we heard a ruckus down the street where a crowd was forming. Wyoming, what about Wyoming? We encountered several interesting folk that were staged at various positions along the main street. Yeah! All right, raise your right hands. Repeat after me, not say it loud. I, I state your name. Say your name. <laughs> Ooh, got an applause there. All right, we are brothers and sisters of blah. Let's put our hands together. Oh, yeah. Let's give them a nice big round of applause. To so they hired me, Con Stapleton, to be Deadwood's first and only town marshal. 
But according to the Laramie Treaty of 1868, the Black Hills, including Deadwood, were part of the Great Sioux Reservation. So I really had no jurisdiction here at all. Now despite that, my exploits were highly documented, including this strange but true tale of January 14th, 1877. All right, to the, to the Union. Oh, that is terrible. Oh, let's have another one. All right, nobody move and nobody get hurt. The strange gets only stranger. Not only did David Lunt walk out of Al Chapman's saloon that night, but he continued to walk the streets of Deadwood for 67 days. Old Doc Babcock did the autopsy on him, said the only reason David had died is because a piece of bone had started to abscess in the wound. Nice thing, there's tons of fun. Nice little shootout. A quick break, and we started off on a hike up the hill. See the Navajo Nation. Oh, cool. Where are you guys from? Toronto. Massachusetts, get hey. So we're taking a walk right now. We're gonna see if we can find the uh, graveyard for Deadwood. And uh, apparently there's some notable figures that are laid to rest there. Deadwood was named by the early settlers. That's a great idea. At its very busiest, there was a reported population of 25,000, whereas today, there's around 1,200. Gold was discovered in the area around the 1870s and resulted in the Black Hills Gold Rush. Hey, puppy. You're a cutie. Halfway up the hill, we made it to Mount Moriah Cemetery. That's a heck of a walk up that hill. And we're just walking out to Wild Bill and Calamity Jane. What was interesting is everything looked really well maintained, considering the dates we saw on the stones. The original graveyard stayed at the bottom of the hill but the property was worth too much money for real estate, so they moved the entire graveyard up here. And it's quite the walk. At least it appeared like everything was moved with respect. We're going up to Seth's grave now, which is supposed to be some beautiful views at the very top. But that was Wild Bill back there and Calamity Jane. And who? Potato... Potato <laughs> Creep Johnny. Potato Creep Johnny. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Did he find what he's looking for? Nah, I just did people. It's a heck of a walk. Maybe that uh, bus tour that they had going on there might have been the better idea. There he is. It's probably this one, isn't it? He was the richest businessman and owned the Franklin Hotel, which still resides on Main Street. All right, so now we're looking for Seth Bullock. It's 800 more feet. Let's go and see Seth. <laughs> It's a little further than I thought. How many people come up here in a day, do you think? <sighs> Maybe on a golf cart. Hold on. That's what they should do. Holy cripes. <sighs> this seems like way more than 800 feet. Sure does. It's starting to level out. A little bit. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. There it is, up there to the right. His brother died, so he married his brother's widow and raised her child. He was the law, he was the marshal, he was everything that kind of took over from, I can't remember the guy he replaced. Well, Seth, there you are. All right, let's head back down. Time for a wobbly pop. We're gonna hightail it down because we have an appointment. That's the cemetery. Very cool. I think it's worth the walk. And if you can drive up, it's probably smarter. But uh, there was that tour bus. Perhaps that's even smarter. <laughs> well, we met up with the others and started the long walk back down to Deadwood. And cinematic. Just walk. 240 frames. <laughs> Today is uh, the start of three days, of the Wild Bill days. So Deadwood is setting up all kinds of uh, performance sections and 
They've got the main drag all shut down and they're all working away in the pouring rain. Uh, we're just about to go in and get ourselves a uh, photo, one of those old time photos. Uh, we made an appointment earlier, so we're coming back to that now. We're gonna take a picture and see if we can replicate something that we've done in the game. So it should be fun. Welcome to Woody's Wild West Photography. While we waited, we looked around at all the photos, props, and clothing. You find a guy that's seventeen dollars per print. And then it was our turn. Here we go. Watch your step as you go up the stairs. All right, as we come through here. You look like you're coming back around there, young man. Oh, yeah. Good. Well, that's nice. Hello, yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Well, they say? This is awesome. Yeah. 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 All right, well, this is Woody's Wild West, the largest old-time photo studio in the U.S. We take old-time photos, we get you all dressed up in costume, and I make you do weird things in front of a camera. Time for that drink. So Russ and I headed over to the Wild Bill Bar again, where we met some cool people and listened to some live music. So we're sitting down right now, we're at the uh, bar that is the location where Wild Bill was shot. Thank you so much. We figured we should have a beer here anyways before we head back to the uh, to maybe a little heady. We finished our drinks and set out, grabbing some food and heading back to the cabin. So up there was where the graveyard was. That was a hell of a walk. Woke up to another great day. That's the end of this trip to the Black Hills in South Dakota. Uh, we have had a fabulous time. This cabin has been absolutely magical to hang out in. It's been uh, a whirlwind bunch of days with lots going on and uh, wow, really great. But uh, if you've enjoyed this, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up and I really appreciate it if you could do a subscribe. That'd be amazing. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Back on the road and headed for Denver and the same six plus hour drive, but this time with some rain. As we approached Denver, the traffic was building and so was the rain, but it was an opportunity to sit and remember all of the fun and exciting things we did. So we're arrived back to Denver now. Uh, the room looks nice. It's all uh, here. I'll show you around. To an outside area, toilet, of course, washroom. You got a little microwave. And we're going to go have some dinner in a few minutes. I'm just going to take a few minutes to get organized, maybe change, freshen up a bit. This will be my nightcap. And uh, this has been another amazing trip. Not a motorcycle trip, but it's been fun. And I uh, hope to see you again on the next one, which uh, isn't too far down the road. So. Uh, Take care.
So that's the magic of the caramel job. The final stage of our trip, we are in Denver in our hotel, which is around Nevada, Nevada. no, uh, Best Western. And now we decided to grab a couple of beverages and sit in the pool and the hot tub is perfect. And look at this gorgeous human getting in the pool right here. Thank you so much everyone for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed it all. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, please subscribe, it really means a lot. Have a great night and uh, we'll see you in the next trip. I was here 33 years ago and I did not want to be here. I was a pain in the ass. It was too hot, just like today. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. All four of us are taking pictures of exactly the same thing. the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen. Nice. Middle of nowhere. Spectacular, stunning, middle of nowhere. Pure paradise, and at the same time, you're 10 minutes away from all the fun you could want. Like uh, the chubby chipmunk right there. Heck yes. Hand-dipped chocolates. God, I need this. <laughs> <laughs>